Minute two to go. Warriors leading by four. That dunk, of course, another donation headed to the Community Foundation's way by Rackerton. Well, that's the kind of play that you could show any team at any level. This is how you play basketball, and this is how you break them down. One, two, three, and look what you get. You get a wide open dunk for Andrew Wiggins. And for Wiggins, by the way, Tim, that's his first basket of the fourth quarter. By the way, Draymond Green talked about his conditioning and how he feels entering this year. I trust Rick and Dave and, and their process and you know, their judgment and what they think and their opinion. And so I try to trust in that and follow their guidance as they're the experts on that side of things. But I feel amazing. I feel like I'm in pretty good shape. My game feel good. I feel great. Like I'm going to have an incredible year. Draymond Green with a great block a moment ago. He had a great steal a moment ago. And the veteran, the four-time NBA champion, has risen to the occasion so far in the fourth quarter. But stops are still yet to be made. A minute two to go. Warriors 107, Hornets 103. Hayward to put the ball into play along the near wing. He is to the right of the Warriors bench, throws it into McDaniels, and Hayward gets it back. They get a switch. So Washington, guarded by Thompson, gets it at the box, goes up. Little post move off the glass, up and in. Well designed play by Steve Clifford's bunch. And Steve Kerr calls a timeout. It's 107 105. 54.7 to go in the game. And the chess match continues. Hey, Dub Nation, you don't want to miss this show. It's Adam Sandler. That's right. Happy Gilmore is coming to San Francisco. Join us at Chase Center on December 6th to see Adam Sandler live with a surprise guest. Get your tickets now at ChaseCenter.com. So here we go. We have a timeout. Warriors are over the limit foul-wise. And Steve Kerr trying to draw something up. And he talked about the defensive assignments this year for the Warriors. Mike had a lot of assistance from Chris DeMarco last year, and uh, Chris is still heavily involved. Uh, Kenny is officially our defensive coordinator this year, um, but Chris is the bridge from last year. So everything that we did last year, we're basically doing uh, this year. A cu couple of tweaks here and there, but for the most part, we're playing a similar style, and I'm, I'm really happy with the job that, uh, that they're doing together. At times, not happy with this club's execution of that so far, but the Warriors have a timeout return with Wiggins, Curry, Poole, Thompson, and Draymond Green, Smith, Oubre, Hayward, McDaniels, and Washington. Nary a true five on the floor for either squad. I'll tell you what. Curry will take the handoff. He's going to walk up the floor. They better score in this possession. 48 seconds to go. Curry. Bent over at the waist, right hand dribble. Draymond screens. Curry gets Washington. Curry bent over the waist, cross between the legs. Twice, cross over in front. Fades and fires at the three, and it's no good. The long rebound to Hayward. The Hornets can tie or take the lead. Ball thrown ahead to Oubre Jr. They rise and stand here at Spectrum Center. Down the lane, Smith goes up and scores. We're tied. 20 seconds left. But Shot clock is dark. It's all in the hands of the Warriors and their offense. Curry with the ball at midcourt. 13 seconds. Curry comes to the right. Guarded by Smith. Gets middle with the dribble. Backs up. Seven to shoot. Waiting a long time. Waits with the dribble. Four. Down to three. Curry wants this. He wants to win it home. Locked up. Shoots a three. It's up and no good. We've got five more minutes here in Charlotte. I don't think they played that right at all, Tim. It was too predictable. You go one-on-one, -on -one and they lock him up. Timeout. Overtime is next on the Warriors Radio Network, presented by United Airlines. Everyone circle up. I know it looks rough out there. Sure, we're down 119 to 64, but we came here to play differently. We need a game changer. Something like Ring Central, the business phone system that's more than a phone. I want you to communicate like you can talk to anyone, anywhere, all from the same app. Now get out there and play like you're using Ring Central. Ring Central, simpler communications. 
Welcome to What If, the show where I, Jake from State Farm, answer your insurance what ifs. We've got a call from Millie. What's up? Hi, Jake. Uh, what if, hypothetically, a moose gets mad at my car and <gasps> rams into my windshield? Hypothetically. Oh, just file a claim on the app. At State Farm, we're there for your what ifs. Great, but what if the moose eats my phone? Hypothetically. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or go to statefarm.com for a quote today. Mac checks in on the Twitter. He says he's tuned in. He says, let's go. Warriors and Hornets tied at 107. Stephen Curry wound the clock down. Didn't get the shot he wanted. And now they've got to play five more minutes after working uphill all night long. Warriors shooting 44% from the floor. Charlotte down to 41%. Golden State's defense has gotten somewhat better in the second half as opposed to, to the first half. 29 for Curry, 24 for Poole, 11 for Clay Thompson, 10 for Kevon Looney with nine rebounds, 10 for Andrew Wiggins. Hornets with 25 for Washington, 23 for Hayward. The Warriors didn't defend those guys well early. They got their confidence going, and then you know at this point, it's hard to turn that off. 18 for Kelly Oubre Jr., 11 for Dennis Smith, and those are the only ones at double figures. This will be a huge win for the Hornets on the back end of a back-to-back where they didn't play well at all against Orlando in Orlando last night. And doing this without LaMelo Ball and, of course, Terry Rozier, who is a dynamic offensive player. Warriors just need to feel good about themselves and get a win. Same five that left the floor for Steve Kerr. Ditto for Steve Clifford. So it's Washington and Draymond Green to jump at center court. And ball thrown up. Washington gets the tip back to Hayward. Charlotte with the ball. The Warriors thought he stole the tip. Hayward downstairs. Got to Washington. He's actually mid post on the right wing, not all the way down. Hayward gets it. The dribble goes baseline and deflected out of bounds off Clay Thompson. It's going to be Hornets ball with 11 to shoot. They almost deflected that right off the feet of Hayward. Yep. They, that double team, he was surprised by it. And it was, they're fortunate to get the ball back. Smith will put it into play. 11 seconds on the shot clock. Hayward screens for Oubre Jr. Washington turns screens for Hayward. Ball thrown to Hayward. Can't do anything with it. Locked up by Wiggins to Washington for three. Did Draymond get a piece of that? Rebound. Curry saved it to Thompson in one motion as he was falling out of bounds. Curry to Thompson now in the front court. Play Pass and cut. Pass and cut. Screen by Wiggins. Draymond takes it middle and a travel call on Draymond. Wow. Not a good time for a turnover. Nope. Rodney Mott telling the Warrior bench what he saw. 4.25 to go in OT. Tied at 107. McDaniels hand off Hayward. Warriors will switch. Washington takes Draymond downstairs. Draymond locked him up. <laughs> Draymond's letting him know it too. Hayward guarded by Thompson. Takes it on the deck, knocked away by Draymond, gets it back, one-hander, tough shot, no good. Draymond with the rebound. That's great defense by Clay Thompson on a bigger player. Draymond is energized right now. Poole with the ball to Draymond. Looks right, but Curry went to the other side. Hand off to Poole. He'll blast down, bounce past Draymond, got fouled. He's going to go to the line to shoot two. How about that? The little pick by Draymond Green. Poole gets two men to him, and a bounce pass into the middle, and Draymond was knew exactly what he was going to do on that cut. And he gets to the line. So these are big, two big free throws for Dre. Free basketball here in Charlotte. And the Warriors on the front end of the back-to-back -back would like to be getting ready to get on a play with a win right now. Draymond misses the first. He will get another. Draymond, these are his first free throws of the night. He came in for the first five games, 9 of 15. And he missed, missed the second. The, missed the second. McDaniels the rebound. Last time the Warriors had an overtime game. It's January 20th. Last season against Indiana, they lost by three. They've lost their last to two OT games. McDaniels stumbles with it. Feeds over to Smith Jr. Last time they won an overtime game was against Miami. Smith backs up Thompson. Fades into a two. Top of the key. No good. Wiggins the rebound. No one scored yet. Still 107-107. We played a minute 
and 34 of OT. Wiggins stops, feeds Draymond, hand off Curry. Curry off a bump screen, hook pass Draymond to the rack, left hand layup, Warriors up by two. See, they're so much better off when they pass, cut, get people open, easier hoops. Down the right side, Smith, Oubre Jr., touch pass, Washington, he lays it in. And the Hornets get an easy bucket. Nicely done. Yeah, very nice high-low action that time by Charlotte. Here's Poole off a screen by Draymond. Bounce pass back to Draymond. Another layup for Draymond Green. This time Poole with the assist. It's 111-109. Golden State leads by two. 2.45 to go in OT. Smith driving baseline. Cut off. Finds Washington. Pumping. Run off the line by Draymond. Deflected. It's out of bounds to Charlotte. How many times have we seen Draymond disrupt somebody's dribble tonight? About 10. <laughs> At least. You may be low on that count. Wow. His hands are so quick. Hayward to toss in. 